Hello, and welcome to Code Rage 2019. My name is Kerry Jensen, and this is Exploring the Navigation Toolbar. In this presentation, I will begin with a basic introduction of the Navigation Toolbar and why it's interesting, and then I'll consider the five different sections of the toolbar. The Used Units Combo Box, the File Section Combo Box, the Types Combo Box, methods combo box, and the project symbol search. First of all, the navigation toolbar is found at the top of the editor pane in Delphi XE8 and later. It's a very narrow strip of controls and it's uh, and that is one of the reasons why so few developers are actually using this powerful tool. Since Delphi XE8 was released, I've been showing off the navigation toolbar, and in most cases, developers that I'm showing this to were un unaware of what it was and, and how to use it. It provides for both inter-unit and whole project navigation. And without further ado, let's go over and take a look at Delphi here. Okay. Um, this is the navigation toolbar up here, the, this top set of five uh, different drop-downs and a search, uh, a search window. Uh, the current, as you know, uh, the current unit that you're viewing in the editor, its unit name appears up in the tab, and just below that tab is your navigation toolbar. The first element of the navigation toolbar is called the used units combo box. And when you drop that down, it'll show you all of the units that are being used in this unit, including both the, the interface section and the implementation section units. You can easily navigate to any one of those units just simply by selecting the unit name from the unit, uh, the, the unit uh, drop down list. The next uh, navigational aspect is the file sections combo box. The file section combo box lets you quickly navigate to a particular section of your unit. And when I drop this list down, notice we can go directly to the interface uses clause or into the uh, implementation section uses clause, initializations sections, just about anywhere that is a, of major importance. So I could move my cursor immediately down to the implementation section. Now that may not sound like a lot of capability there, but if you consider a very large unit, uh, for instance the classes unit, uh, this could allow you to navigate quite easily to some uh, very distant areas of your uh, your unit. Uh, so this one has brought me down to line 3140. This next one is called the types drop down and this this unit I'm going to go over to a custom unit I've developed here and this unit has um, a number of different types declared. If my cursor is inside a particular type dec uh, declaration, that type will appear in this dropdown. So here I'm going to move down to another section, this is to user data, uh, and you notice that that appears in that dropdown. Also, I can drop down this list and this shows me all the types declared in this particular unit. And simply by selecting the type, it'll take me to that type declaration. Uh, this is rather interesting. I came down to T uh, Reader. That happens to be a nested type uh, within a class. So all the types in the class are represented in this drop down list. Next, if I'm actually inside a method of a, of, of a class, that method will appear in the methods drop down list. And similar to the type drop down list, I can drop down that uh, combo box and it'll show me all the declared methods uh, for that particular type and then I can easily navigate to a particular method sent simply by selecting it from the method, method drop-down list. The final part of the navigation toolbar is the search. If I click on the search icon, it'll ask me for um, some characters, and what it'll do here is it will actually display 
every single declaration within this unit that has uh, that sequence of characters that you've typed. And then you can simply select from there. One interesting thing about these five controls in the navigation toolbar is each one of them can also be activated by a, a key combination. When you press a Control alt n for navigation followed by Control alt say U, you bring down the used units drop down list. If you press Control alt n followed by Control alt s for section, you get the section drop down. Control alt n followed by Control alt t for type, you get the type or drop down. Control alt n followed by Control alt p, you get the procedures drop down, control alt n followed by control alt f for find, and you bring up the search dialog. Hmm. Again, thank you for attending my uh, short Code Rage 2019 session. Uh, if you would like to read more about the navigation toolbar or review these things that I have spoken about, you can go to my blog at kerryjensen.blogspot.com. The current blog post is exploring the navigation toolbar. If you are viewing this presentation uh, and it's not the current, then just navigate to the November post from 2019 and you'll find Exploring the Navigation Toolbar. I should also mention that my latest book is Delphi and Death FireDAC. If you're interested in learning more about that book, please visit jensendatasystems.com slash FireDAC book. And again, thank you for attending this Code Rage 2019 session.